Hey, I wanted to share some some insights on where you should prompt. <clears throat> here I'm going to give this example with Excel. I have here an Excel file coming from a survey, actually it's a form survey, where there's a lot of questions regarding um, how people are using the technology um, and there are close questions with where people can decide, you know, is Outlook critical or not for me? And there are several sections here, several questions, and there are open-ended questions. What are other applications listed <coughs> above that you're using? So you can see there's close question and open-ended question. Um, so for example, here, what are the main issue limitations? There's also on average, number, you know, ask question with numbers. So <clears throat> let's first try to use Copilot in the Excel file and see if Copilot can tell me something about the this file. What can you tell me about this file? So if you ask a broad question, so you, I was hoping, you know, maybe you can tell me, oh, it looks like a survey and, and give me some findings. And maybe next I'm going to ask, summarize it. When you do that in Excel with Copilot, it's not going to work. You'll see the result in a few seconds <clears throat> because Copilot in Excel is really focused on analyzing data based on the columns, you see it is trying to give me, uh, on average, how many hours do you spend in meetings per day by one note doesn't make any sense here. I don't care about that, um, this cross-reference. So it tells me, you know, in general, this file is an Excel spreadsheet containing, and it, it is giving me no analysis. It's pretty, how can I call that? It's, let's say it's raw analysis. The text it doesn't interpret what it could mean um, so and it, it can calculate some numbers which is good because for example if I say uh, what is the average number of email people receive per day that's very specific. He knows how to do a calculation. Um, I guess I didn't try it before, but I, I guess I will be surprised if Copa can do the calculation here because that's what it's, it's aimed for. It's not to analyze more contextually uh, what's in the, the result of the survey in the Excel file. It's more, you know, it, you don't know how to do something in Excel, I'm going to help you. So here, you know, it is able to calculate the average number, average of num number of email. And we'll come back to that. So <clears throat> that's really what you need to understand is it's not a broad al analysis. It's really based on different columns that you need to mention. And uh, eventually you can find some insights to trying to correlate some data. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. Some sometimes it makes sense. But if, in my case, I have open-ended questions, and I would like to understand um, you know, what the general general sentiment is for open-ended questions, so um, what kind of question so what is your preferred method to be to be informed? That might be an angle. Um, and I maybe struggles I'm trying to find if there's a question about their struggles. This is more uh, multi-choice answer. Here, there's a question about if you use Zoom instead of Teams, what are the let's say what are the main limitations? That the kind of sentiment I would like to understand. So maybe I'll keep that for my next section.
of a demonstration. So now I'm going to go to try to analyze this file in Teams uh, in 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 the chat in Copilot chat. So I'm going to grab the same first question and I'm going to ask it in Copilot for chat. So I'm going to say same question, but I'm just here. I need to point to the fire. And so, you know, it's not going to do the same thing that what it did in Excel, because now it, it, it's looking at the whole file and try to f get a feel for it. <clears throat> so first it tells me, you know, there was some modification. So it, it understands it's that contains a survey with various questions related to user experience. So it, 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 it's, it is able to understand what it is about. And so, <clears throat> but if I'm asking a specific question, just like I did, um, where is my Excel file? Did I close it? Oh, should No, here it is. I hope he didn't lose my copad questions. Oops, no, I closed. Oh, here it is. So if I if I go back to the second one where it was very precise, here it is. I go back to Copa here. What is the average number of email people receive per day? And I'm going to reference to the file, but I think I don't have to because it, it knows that I'm already mentioned this file, but just to be sure for the demonstration. And here it's it's probably, I don't know why, I don't know how he, he doesn't find the answer, but I guess since there's a lot of data, he's not really able to figure out there's a column and that uh, he's gonna be able to calculate what's in the column. That's not where he's good at. He's good at doing that in, so you see some, you know, some entries mentioned receive 50, other 100, some 200. There are no entries with lower numbers than 10. So it's a general feedback that can be valuable, that gives more context, but it's not exactly what I want to, what I wanted. So when you want to have a, a, a real a re result, a strong calculation, you need to do that in Excel and use Copilot for that. When you want a general sentiment, you need to go in Copilot chat. <clears throat> so in here, I can ask more questions about uh, what I, what other question did I, did I ask? Um, I think that's all I asked. Yeah. So if I want to ask a question about <clears throat> what are the main complaints about was it zoom <clears throat> so it should be able to do it because he's he gonna look at everything it, he's not calculating it here so he needs to look at the file and maybe you know <clears throat> don't I hope it's referencing the file here no, so it's coming from another document. So as you can see, it lost the context. So I'm going to ask the question. What are the main complaints about Zoom from this file? So it's another thing is when you're ref referencing a file, <clears throat> if it's a big file, there's a good number of information you might want to refer it for each prompt. It doesn't keep all this huge context with it. <clears throat> so it's another finding here. So here you say, okay, I'm not gonna look there and Zoom is, is referred to as the devil. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so you can see that way that you have way more information, contextual information. While when you're using Copilot in Excel, 
it's more factual based on a column. Here it's more general based on everything. So for example, I can ask the same question, which will be impossible in Excel. What are the main collaboration issues mentioned in this file? Can you create a table with categories, general description of issues, and one quote illustrating the issue? So <clears throat> again, you cannot do that in Excel, but you can do that in Copilot Chat because it looks at everything and makes sense of it. Okay, so we can see clearly from a vast amount of, of data that it can tell me, you know, here are the categories that uh, are listed as issues, collaborative issues, alignment and structure. There is a lack of alignment in how people are collaborating and consistent structure for document storage. Lack of alignment in, this is a quote, so it's very good at doing it. You might not have all, you might have missed some, I'm not sure, but at least I can start from, from there. I, you know, it gives me a structure, it gives me a general description and some quotes and, and can save me time, you know, to give feedback quickly first impression without having to read the result of the survey. So remember, if you want to do, you know, a very uh, specific analysis, then you can go in Excel and crunch your data, ask help, ask a copilot to help you to crunch that da data. You cannot do that in copilot chat, but when you want to have more general information, about the Excel file, when there's sentiment, when there's text, like actually, when there's no calculation to, to ask, then you go in Copilot Chat and you can use Copilot Chat for that purpose. Oh, <clears throat> this was insightful. Sorry for my voice. I'm under the weather, but I hope to see you soon.